as we move on to our next competitor here. This is Marcus Christopher. He has one prior appearance. It was back in 2019 in BMX Park. We were in X Games Minneapolis where he finished out in 11th place. Marcus Christopher is a powerhouse. Look at that. Downside triple tail of air pumping. Look at the speedy brakes. He used to be a BMX racer, so he's not scared to go fast. Oh, beautiful 360 backflip over the box. See, like he's got a great flow as well. And I think that it has a lot to do with being a BMX racer with background. I mean, I used to be a BMX racer. My little brother has actually uh, spent time with Marcus Christopher over the years. He stayed at his house before. Um, he got to hang out with his bulldog. <laughs> oh, beautiful 540 flare. And he just goes everything so high in the air as well, which is pretty crazy. Going back to the speed that you mentioned earlier, there was a lot that happened just in the first 15 seconds of this run. And look at how he slingshots wow. himself through those bull corners and keeps that momentum going. That's a great run for Marcus as well. Yeah, very good first run. You definitely want to show up here and be able to get a good first run out there and try to get as many big tricks as you can without going over the top. You know, one thing you want to take into consideration is not overdoing to the point where you crash. And look at, he did this perfectly. Beautiful downside, triple tail up. So that's his actually normal direction that he would rotate in the air. And uh, he kicks his tail ups that way. Nice uh, 360 flip over the box. And then look at that flare bar spin to look back. And uh, since he's a goofy footed rider, he's able to do the look back combinations. And uh, goofy foot means um, pretty much he turns to the direction of his front foot. So there's the backflip tail up over the box as well. And I think this box is going to play a big role in uh, definitely deciding between the top guys today, because I think it's going to be a lot of big tricks. So that brings us down to Logan Martin. He was your top qualifier until Daniel Sandoval said, uh-uh, I'm posting up at 87. So, And like I said earlier, he, he had two bobbles in his first run. So he, he has room for improvement. And he, he got Navy six in run number one. So far, he's actually changed up his line a little bit. I like that transfer into that steep wedge. That brings a good amount of speed for that quarter pipe. That's what Daniel did for the double flare. What's he gonna do with oh, last triple whip. That was, that was a switch a triple whip right there. So opposite direction. Oh, I love that. I love that. Under flip, whip over the box backwards, and he just did a bar spin version of it over it forwards. Wow. So, so there's, there a, there's a lot of tricks there. There was a lot of tricks there. I'm really curious to see what the judges do with this one. Again. Top eight moving on. Yeah, so, so he's already in. It's just, as you talked about earlier, that whole strategy of wanting to go later in the round in the finals. Yeah, and Logan, you know, he, he definitely wants to be there. He's he's somebody who thrives under that pressure of, of being the last one to go. Because, you know, he rides against himself. Well, that worked out for him last July. I mean, he was, you know, Justin Dowell was in that top spot, and Logan being the defending gold or defending medalist. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be that position. comes in and gets the ride last and gets the win. And I think that's why everybody cranked it up at the end, because they saw that opportunity. They don't want Logan to ride last. So he gets an 86.33, so it is an improvement. Oh, I can't. That one's always best trick. Park best trick is always just so intense. It's yeah, it, it stresses me out uh, commentating. <laughs> it really does. But Daniel Sandoval currently sits in that number three spot with an 80.66. So Oh, the oh. double flare! <laughs> now, somebody's not holding back. I Maybe know. somebody's getting some extra practice since he already knows he's going into the final. I saw him hitting that wall and I stopped. Wow. I didn't want to finish my thought. I was like, what's he going to do? Oh, my goodness. And that's a big quarter pipe to do it off of. I mean, you know, you think back to Kevin Robinson doing them, you know, on the vert ramp. And then, like, modern day BMX, there's guys doing it on the smaller quarter, but to do it on that big quarter pipe, a concrete as well. Look at that 540 flare, wow. What a run right here. This has got some bangers, so many big tricks. Kind of using this as a uh, dry run, a little glimpse into what we could see in the final. Wow. And he is fired up at the end of that run. Nicely done, two very solid outings out of Daniel Sandoval. Oh, I'm still recovering from that double flare. That thing was huge. <laughs> we need a replay of that one. 
at pretty much at this point, with four riders left to go, there's oh, only one of them that's this. not in the top. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look how high he was. Come on. Look how far his body separates from the coping as well. You're like, oh my goodness, where's he going to land? But it came around. It fit right in. Yeah. This is, this is ridiculous. I can't believe he just threw that in qualifying when he was already qualified. But you know what? It takes a special kind of rider to take risk like that because he knows this is like a this is like a practice right here. You get a moment where you get the course all to yourself and to be able to bring your big tricks to it. So scores yeah! in.